please pray for the church. She's the last one standing that is trying to convince the world of the truth. As Jesus said, you're either for me or against me. If you stand with the church, you stand with Christ. If you tear down the church, you tear down Christ. The woke movement of global elitists has put into motion an unprecedented attack against Western civilization and the Catholic Church that built it. Their hatred for the West and the Church is undeniable. And it exists because those two are the only remaining obstacles to a new world order. To a new world order. Because in the West, we have freedom. And with freedom, there is not full control of the people. China was chosen by the global elites to lead the world of the perfect model for controlling the people. Depopulation is a key motivator for the globalists because that also controls the masses. That is why we see such a push for abortion, contraception, transgenderism, gay marriage, and these all control the population. In order for a one world government, which is scriptural, by the way, the Antichrist, the falling away from the faith, the attack of the church, one world government, it's, this is all scriptural. Who leads the free world? the United States of America, the Catholic Church. So it must be brought down through division. And its teachings of objective moral truth must be dismantled. With the church, people submit to God and not the state. In Marxism and the New World Order, people must submit to the state, not to God. Thus, the church has to be removed. The fabric that holds both of these together, Western civilization and the church, is the family. Is the family. That is why Lucy, Sister Lucy said Satan's final attack would be on marriage in the family. To achieve this global objective of depopulization and control of the masses, you have to defeat the church and the greatest nation defending freedom in order to have a new government. The church is the last standing institution that fully holds life sacred. Feel the truth has to be spoken. And I ask for your prayers.